And your your current statements seem to indict uh, the uh, chief officials of the Obama administration as partic knowingly participating, including now Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, Stephen Chu, knowingly participating in the uh, covert radiation genocide of the United States population through the importation of Japanese food. Uh, would you like to talk more about this and how this result has come about? Well, I think that it's important to remember uh, to follow the money trail. And before Obama uh, ran for office, about two years before he ran for office, um, he received very large sums of money covertly from the uh, Crown of England. This is the City of London bankers and um, the, 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 the royal family. So um, that's how he got elected, basically. And uh, not only that, but Stephen Chu received a Nobel Prize for his work in um, uh, alternative, alternative energy when he was at Stanford. Stanford and U University of California uh, actually developed TARP with the, co-developed TARP with the Soviets at the Livermore Nuclear Weapons Lab and facilities in Europe. So there's a dirty Nobel Prize uh, from the Wallenberg banking family that's awarded to Stephen Chu. Um, and then two years at the time that Obama decided to run for office, uh, uh, Stephen Chu was uh, just moved to be director of the Lawrence Berkeley Lab. And I knew then, which is a Department of Energy facility, and I knew then that he was being moved on to uh, some very important position. Otherwise, he wouldn't have left Stanford. And, and the Lawrence Berkeley Lab, where the Manhattan Project started, was certainly a strange place for him to go. It was sort of career suicide if, if he was going to stay in science. And as soon as Obama was elected president, he immediately appointed Stephen Chu as Secretary of Energy. And Stephen Chu immediately appointed uh, Dr. Stephen Coonan, who was a BP scientist, British Petroleum scientist, to be his undersecretary for science. And uh, Stephen Coonan is a Jason scientist. It's the Jason scientists who developed HARP. So... It's starting to look like a cover-up of HARP and a cover-up of BP involvement was uh, their uh, main agenda. And because what happened after that is that the BP disaster, oil disaster and, and chemical pollution of the whole Caribbean and the eastern United States occurred uh, on that that uh, British Petroleum uh, very deep well platform that was drilling when it all blew up. And there were also blue beams, blue beam technology seen uh, in their photos of it uh, coming from the sky, harp, down in, onto the, into the platform and then the explosion occurred. So um, it sure does look like that was a harp disaster as well. And Stephen Chu and Stephen Coonan uh, absolutely uh, delayed response. They allowed BP to violate our EPA laws and use uh, a very, very toxic chemical, which didn't really help anyway, but it polluted the whole Caribbean and East Coast. It was in the hailstorms in those tornadoes that we had in the southern part of the U.S. in April. And that would have mixed the chemicals with the radiation from Fukushima and increased and escalated the health impact to that region. So, um, to me, uh, the final nail in the coffin is that the Tromso-Norway heart facility, 
which is owned by UK, Norway, Sweden, Finland, uh, Japan, uh, France, and Germany, uh, is the where the heating of the uh, the uh, to destabilize the fault zone occurred for ten days before the Fukushima earthquake, and the Gekona Alaska magnetometer, uh, which is our heart facility in Alaska, uh, transmitted the earthquake frequency 2.5 hertz for three days before the earthquake occurred. So it looks like there's a pretty strong trail of evidence, forensic evidence, to say that yes, they did it on purpose. Now, um, Barack Obama is running for President of the United States for re-election in the 2012 election, and he stated his intentions. I have a two-part question. The first part is, during the Fukushima event, Barack Obama, I think, he uh, was traveling in south in the southern hemisphere. Correct? Yes, uh, Barack Obama just happened to be. I mean, President Barack Obama just happened to be in the southern hemisphere with his wife and two children uh, when the Fukushima disaster occurred, and he didn't bother to tell any Americans about it or to return to the greatest emergency in the history of this continent. And um, he, stayed, he stayed out of the, the uh, radiation down there. Right. Now, do you believe that, in your professional opinion, having done all of this research, that Barack Obama personally, as President of the United States, was cognizant uh, that uh, there was a radiation depopulation event going on and that he personally made the decision for that reason uh, to evacuate himself and his family from the country. Well, before Obama became President of the United States, um, he and his wife lived in Chicago and they're actually social fascists. Uh, his wife uh, what's her first name? Michelle. Mrs. Obama. Michelle Obama worked for the University of Chicago Hospital. That's a Rockefeller institution. And it's in the middle of a black ghetto in Chicago. Her job as vice president of community relations with that ghetto was to reject black uh, uh, patients from that ghetto and send them back to their their uh, the the very scarce resources, health resources in the ghetto. She would not admit them to the hospital because they couldn't make profits off them. Now, given given that that uh, uh, so, are, are you saying that it's more it's probable that, or more probable than not, or beyond a reasonable doubt that? President Barack Obama had knowledge uh, of the radiation disaster, uh, of the radiation false flag operation and a radiation genocide ongoing on on the U.S. from 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 well, Fukushima. From the um, the pattern of the earthquake increases, large increases since 1965 in Japan. As a professional geoscientist. I investigated every one of the earthquakes, 32 earthquakes that occurred after 1965. And in the last 10 years, before the Fukushima earthquake, it's called the Great Tohoku earthquake, um, there was a pattern in the last 10 years that indicated to me they were manipulating the entire earthquake zone where uh, the uh, Pacific Plate and the Eurasian Plate meet under Japan, and in order to move the stresses into the Fukushima area to cause a large magnitude earthquake. And the fact that Obama uh, happened to be in the southern hemisphere at that time isn't proof, but the fact that he did not respond to this disaster and he did not come back to the United States to be commander-in-chief of this disaster um, indicates to me 
that he was complicit and aware and deliberately um, left the American people on their own. Thank you. We've actually uh, gone a bit over on, on our time, so I'm just going to thank you very much and look forward to your next participation.